Hey everyone, today we are making some persimmon pudding again because it is fall again and I am making persimmon recipes again and this is something I would just have for lunch not something I would bring to a party or anything because it is just based on fruit and although it totally satisfies my palate for a party I'll bring something with a lot of nuts something that will appeal to people that are not used to a healthy diet or today I'm keeping it very simple I will use one apple for uh, I will grate it in uh, little slices and I will use a few persimmons two three persimmons and that will be per, the persimmons will be the base of the pudding I will use a little bit of hazelnut stevia but feel free to use uh, maple syrup um, um, dates or some other sweetener I will uh, for the frosting I will use one sapote now they're not very common outside of California so uh, feel free to substitute the sapote with a banana and some coconut this is mature coconut uh, as much uh, coconut meat as you prefer as far as uh, nuttiness and fattiness so this is going to be the frosting and this is going to be the base you need a high-speed blender I'm going to blend the persimmons with the hazelnut and either water or nut milk and to get the hachia persimmons now let me show you the difference there's different varieties of persimmons this is a native persimmon American persimmon and it is let me see if you can see the difference this one is um, it has to be really soft otherwise really it has to be extremely soft otherwise it's inedible it's very stringent and it will make your mouth just pucker these ones can be firm and they will form a pudding like consistency now those are the Japanese ones they will totally gel like gelatin basically and they will stay firm in the pie so those are the ones you want to use if you want to form a firm pie otherwise they're both very delicious make sure that you know which ones you have so you can make sure to ripen them these ones do look a little bit they have the shape of a heart so that's the difference I hope that's obvious and nut milk is optional for the pie also you can sweeten things with dates and you can use a little bit of pumpkin pie seasoning or spices so I have laid my apple slices on the bottom of my pie and I blended the persimmons with a glass of nut milk and water and stevia and I will place this as my main pudding or layer and here I will just pour the blended the blended it's already gelling uh, so this will be solid there is a few more slices I'll just place on top you can uh, soak them in lemon so that they don't brown you get the idea you just place some layers so it's a little bit of fun and remove the seeds from the sapote and this is going in the blender with the coconut as the frosting some stevia and again nut milk just so that it can blend so I ended up putting a persimmon in the sapote dip so it can firm up because I didn't use all the coconut feel free to use cashew cacao if you want it to be like a chocolate layer and I'll spread this and I'll place it in the fridge and it doesn't take long to um, it doesn't take a, a very long time to set and you can decorate this on top however you wish to I'll show you the final result in a little bit so the pie is ready I was working editing so probably it's been an hour or two since I put it in the fridge probably less is enough I just got busy with work here's the result and let's slice it and let's hope for the best <laughs> making sure to get through the bottom layer of apples looks like it's going to lift up and here it is it actually stays <laughs> okay on the knife so you can imagine how thick it is 
All right, success with the pie. Oh my goodness, I have to show you the inside. There it is. The frosting is quite thin. And let's try it. It's really, uh, it's standing still, you can see. I'm just holding it on one end. It's very, very vanilla. It's excellent. Mm. It's so good. And one little tip before I go. There is some water that collects on the bottom of your dish from the apples. Most likely it's sweet water. So it's kind of like juice. Just drain it gently tip the pie over a glass and drain it and drink it <laughs> um that's about it the rest of it is pretty solid and firm and it's quite spectacular oh by the way if you end up making this pie tag me on instagram or on facebook either way i want to see your creations i'm sure you make it even nicer thanks for joining me today namaste